we welcome our viewers around the world to our educational academy. Today we confront a silent emergency in women's health, breast cancer. Nigeria has a very low mammography screening rate, far below Ghana, and nowhere near the United States. And because women are not screened, breast cancer is often diagnosed at very late stages when survival is far less likely. Let's examine the evidence. Please, subscribe, like and share. Visit these trusted global sites to explore additional information on breast cancer and breast cancer screening. The learning objectives are on your screen. We explore why breast cancer is frequently diagnosed at late stages in Nigeria and Ghana. You will learn how Nigeria's screening rates compare with Ghana and the United States and how the absence of regular mammography contributes to high mortality. We will examine the structural barriers such as limited equipment, high cost, weak policies, and low awareness that prevent women from accessing early detection. Finally, we will identify the urgent actions needed to strengthen screening, improve survival, and reduce preventable deaths among women. Globally, breast cancer is the second most common cancer, with approximately 2.3 million new cases reported in 2022, the most recent year for which comprehensive data are available and the dataset we will use for this presentation. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in Africa, with nearly 200,000 new cases diagnosed in 2022. Approximately 33,000 new cases of breast cancer were reported in Nigeria in 2022. 5,000 new cases of breast cancer were reported in Ghana in 2022. Screening for breast cancer matters because several studies have reported that early detection from regular mammography dramatically improves survival. In the United States, widespread screening means most breast cancers are found when they are small, localized, and highly treatable. But in Nigeria and Ghana, lack of access, lack of awareness, and weak health systems mean most women are not screened at all. The result is late-stage diagnosis, expensive treatment, and high mortality. Let's begin with the benchmark. In the United States, 76 to 80 percent of women aged 50 to 74 get a mammogram every two years. Among women aged 40 to 49, the screening rate is around 59 percent. Overall, this means the majority of American women are screened regularly. This is what a functioning early detection ecosystem looks like with insurance coverage, strong guidelines, public awareness, and available imaging equipment. Now, Ghana. The numbers are far lower. National breast cancer screening rates across all women is approximately 18%. This figure includes clinical breast exam and other methods, so not only mammography. Mammography alone among women aged 40 years and over is approximately 4%. In small urban surveys, uptake rises slightly to around 14%. Even at its best, Ghana's mammography rate remains extremely low. But compared to Nigeria, Ghana is still doing better. And now, Nigeria. Nigeria has no national mammography screening guidelines. Therefore, screening guidelines are based on those adopted from Western countries. Uptake of mammography is extraordinarily low. In a major southwestern region in Nigeria, only 2.8% of eligible women had ever had a mammogram. In many communities in Nigeria, mammograms are not performed because of lack of machines, cost, and distance. For a country of more than 100 million women, this represents a catastrophic gap in cancer prevention and early detection. Because screening is common in the U.S., 62% of breast cancers are diagnosed at stage 1 or stage 2 when treatment is most effective. Only 6% present with metastatic stage 4 disease. Modern public health systems catch cancer early. 
Early detection saves lives. In Ghana, the picture is very different. More than 60% of breast cancers are detected at stage 3 or stage 4 with metastatic disease. Late diagnosis is the norm, not the exception. This reflects the absence of organized screening, lack of public awareness, and limited availability of imaging equipment. And in Nigeria, late-stage presentation is very common. Studies consistently show that 70 to 80 percent of breast cancers in Nigeria are diagnosed at stage 3 or stage 4 when metastatic. Many women arrive only when the tumor is ulcerated, painful, or visibly advanced. Late-stage diagnosis drives Nigeria's high breast cancer mortality rates, among the highest in Africa. Nigeria's situation represents a public health emergency. Without screening, cancers grow unnoticed until they become life-threatening. Several barriers explain why Nigeria and Ghana lag so far behind. There are very few mammography machines, with less than 10% of African countries meeting the WHO minimum density. In Nigeria, a mammogram costs 15,000 to 40,000 naira, a price that is unaffordable for most women. The national minimum wage is 80,000 naira per month, which is approximately $56, using an exchange rate of $1 to 1,442 naira as of November 2025. Awareness is also low. Many women do not know screening is recommended. There are no national guidelines, no structured screening programs, no reminder systems, and no universal insurance coverage. Additional barriers include cultural beliefs, fear, stigma, and widespread misinformation. Together, these obstacles leave millions of women at risk. The World Health Organization Minimum Density refers to the recommended minimum number of mammography machines per population needed to provide adequate breast cancer screening services. The World Health Organization recommends roughly one mammography unit per 100,000 women aged 50 to 69 years. This is the baseline for population-level screening readiness. In higher-income regions, the density is even better, many have 5 to 10 machines per 100,000 women. Africa has 54 countries. If less than 10% meet the World Health Organization standard, it means only about five or fewer countries have enough mammography machines for proper nationwide screening. In other words, over 90% of African countries lack the imaging equipment needed for effective breast cancer screening. These barriers matter because they are the main reasons breast cancer is diagnosed late, often at stage 3 or 4 in most African countries. Late diagnosis leads to higher deaths, more expensive treatment, and fewer chances of cure. Without enough machines, regular screening is nearly impossible for most women. If Nigeria continues on its current path, women will keep dying from cancers that could have been found and treated early. Nigeria urgently needs a national early detection plan that includes meeting World Health Organization equipment standards, increasing health funding, placing government-funded mammography units in every state, using mobile screening vans in rural areas, running nationwide awareness campaigns, training specialists, and partnering with NGOs, religious groups, and women's organizations. In summary, Nigeria needs health policies that prioritize women's care. The U.S. shows what is possible, and Ghana shows progress can be made. Nigeria must not accept late-stage cancer as inevitable, early detection saves mothers, daughters, sisters, and communities. The learning objectives have been met. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you found this presentation informative and educational, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and sharing with family members, friends, and colleagues. Your support helps us create more informative and educational content. Until next time, stay strong, stay hopeful. 
This has been a presentation of Opomularo Media LLC.